Okay, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you've plugged in your USB flash drive, but it's not being displayed in, you know, my computer, uh, the first thing I would suggest that you do is to unplug the drive from the current uh, USB port that it's plugged into and then plug it into an alternate port, okay? You can try it, at, you know, with an alternate port on the front of the system if that's what you're using now. Uh, if that doesn't work, go ahead and unplug the uh, f uh, flash drive from the front of the system and then plug it into the rear of the system. All right, try each port until you find one that works, okay? <clears throat> now, if that doesn't work for you, all right, the next thing that I would suggest you do is we're going to need to go to the control panel. Now, this is a Windows 8 system, so I'm going to use the charms bar. Now, if you are using Windows 7, you're just going to go to the lower right and click on the pearl and then control panel. All right, I'm going to click on search since I'm using Windows 8 type in control or a portion of it and then click on control panel in the left once control panel opens I'm gonna go ahead and change the view by to large icons okay and at this time what we're gonna to need to do all right is to we are going to click on administrative tools all right and then we're gonna click on computer management and we'll give this snap on just a second to open because it's definitely not the fastest snap on okay once it opens what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the left all right and we're gonna click on under storage we're gonna click on disk management and we'll give it just a few seconds to display and I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this all right now pretty much what you're gonna do is try to locate all right uh, look in this list. All right, what this list contains, it's going to contain, contain all of your physical uh, drives. You know, the physical drives connected to your system. All right. Now this one is a virtual machine, so I have virtual. I have a you know a C drive. Okay. Now this one, disk one, this is removable. Yours will most likely it's going to say removable. Okay. All right. This is the flash drive. Now if yours uh, is displayed here, all right. Uh, the first thing I would check is to make sure that it has a drive letter. Okay. Easiest way to handle that is to you can just right click uh, in the in the area over here to the right, and then click on change drive letter or pass. And if it does not have one, go ahead and click uh, add. All right, all right. If it uh, already has a drive letter, just click change and then just change it here. All right, but it has to have a drive letter for it to be displayed. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, if uh, after that it's still you go right back to the computer and it still is not displayed, one thing I would try here is from this section right where you can actually see the drive here, right click it and then select Explore and see if you can open the drive. Okay, if you can't open the drive, uh, it may be a driver issue. Okay, now if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and close this and then I'm going to go back to the control panel and this time though, I'm going to go to System. And then I'm going to click on Device Manager in the upper left. All right. I'm going to go ahead and max out the Device Manager. And then what I'm going to do is check, uh, I'm going to expand the disk drives, okay? Now what you're going to do is locate your USB flash drive here. All right. You might, it, yours actually might have a yellow mark or maybe a, a, a red X over it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to right click it and select Uninstall and then OK on the confirm alright now after you've done that easiest way is to go to the top of the tree right click and then uh, click scan for hardware changes alright and it should install uh, it should reinstall your drive okay and uh, the drive automatically popped up actually here alright and at this time you're uh, uh, that actually be, be, from you know running through those procedures one of those actually should resolve, uh, you know, your issue with the uh, your external drive not actually being displayed within my computer. All right, and that completes this tutorial.